Hi folks, I'm going to share a couple of videos on a remodel of my camper. Uh, starting off with the removal of the back tire and making that a bike rack. And uh, I bought this camper because it's around 900 pounds, a very light A-liner. And it's called the A-liner because it's an A-frame and uh, it pops up very quickly. And it's very easy to tow and so I can tow it with a light vehicle. I also have removed the propane tank because uh, we don't do extended camping and the little portable bottles is fine with me. So uh, this one has the fantastic fan and a vent and an air conditioner on the other side. Uh, and so I'm rearranging the camping sleeping arrangements which is from here and then over there and I'm taking this bed and moving it along this wall. So you'll see that in, uh, in the videos to follow. Thanks for watching. Okay, I wanted this to be a before and after. Uh, that's the refrigerator that I bought to replace the ice box, which uh, was in there. And I had cut the hole bigger and uh, put the ice, the refrigerator in there and it fit perfectly. But uh, with all of it being done, this bed, because of this curvature here, is uh, takes up too much room and it's not wide enough for me. So we're gonna take this whole cabinet out now and uh, run the bed across that way. So one person will sleep this way and the other person will sleep that way. And, uh, and then we'll put the refrigerator right here and the air conditioner, which I did so well to take out and plate up, it's gonna come out in the refrigerator. I mean, the air conditioner is gonna go back in. And also I had taken off the uh, propane tank here and I'm gonna put the spare tire there because I would like to have a bike rack. And so, that tire is going to come off and that's going to become a bike rack. So that's the update for now. It's a lot of work. If you don't get in a hurry, it's enjoyable. So this is uh, part one of two videos for the upgrade of this camper for our style. When I had rigged it so that I could put the air conditioner in there and took out the ice box, I had put some floor uh, stops so that the refrigerator wouldn't go that way and I never made it to getting the floor stops across the front Which is a good thing now that I'm tearing this down But I ran an extension cord Through that wall over there for the refrigerator down through this cabinet area and as you can see the wire Comes in and this is the plug for the air conditioner, which is going to go back in to this hole so This will come out, but this will be one of the last things that I do is put the air conditioner back in I want to get this camping layout situated. So it's going to be a bed area here with the standard pop-up table. Uh, a smaller one that can't than what came with the camper because the one that came with the camper is actually the plate that lays down as the bed. And it's just too heavy. So we got individual boards which tuck away nicely in here when you want to put it away. And then they come down nice and easily. So it's going to be one bed going this way and the other bed going that way and then cabinets and refrigerator and air conditioner will all be utility right here when you step in. So that's the plan. All right, because of the these campers are built in a factory, the drain outlet for the sink was all glued as one piece, so I had to cut that off. This is not a fitting that's screwed on there. So in order for it to come up and out, it had to be cut, so but if it ever has to go back again, I'll have to do new pipe. But uh, that's going to leave a nice big hole that I can easily patch. No big deal. Back on the inside now, the uh, drain is now ready to come out. And I've uh, cut it off. There it is. A one-piece drain. So it'll go back in if ever need be. But uh, the bottom will have to be. Uh, new fitting, new glued that back together piece. Another thing I'm going to do is take out the water tank since we'll not be using that. It's just going to be this cabinet coming out and this bed which is over here will now be where this cabinet is and all cabinets will be over here and the air conditioner will go back in. Alright, I was able to get the water tank out. Five screws on the belt here. Looks like a, some form of Aluminum maybe with duct tape around it the uh, Two hoses had to come off of there, and then there was a drain 
down there, which fortunately they drilled a big hole and it was easy to pull it out. But uh, it's another hole to plug. So I've got one for the sink drain right there and one for the uh, water supply drain. Since we're not going to ever use the water supply, we don't go extended camping or off the grid. We're grid people. Okay, with the uh, refrigerator out and the cover out, the sink out, the drain out, I have this uh, TV antenna that I've disconnected, but I'm going to disconnect this 12 volt supply and then plug it back in again and just lay it down. But uh, just as a precautionary measure, since it's feeding 12 volts to it, I'll blow the circuit breaker if I ever touch those two together. So I have unplugged the power. As you can hear, the fantastic fan is not currently running. So I'm getting close. All right, I've got that uh, 12 volt out and it's now laying back in here. I have not uh, put on the power supply yet because I'm messing with this 110, which is right down here. All of the 110 wires are held to the wall with these brads. So I don't like messing with nails and 110 volts while it's live. So I've unplugged, I'm gonna leave it unplugged until I'm sure all the wires are down and I feel safe. Okay, here's what I'm talking about as far as the 110. I've got these wires loose and the box is loose but there's no it's not live so I can I can easily do this uh, I couldn't get it out so I've got it to where it can at least slide in like that and now I have the 110 laying on top now it is out of the way and I can go back to pulling screws to this cabinet Okay, it's 91 degrees, too hot for me, so I'm quitting for today. And uh, this cabinet's going to come out next. And it is maybe connected on the inside over there, I don't know. The wires go through that wall. So I still have not gotten the cabinet out because I had so much work to do to get the water tank out. But I did notice that this thing is connected right across that bar and the wire bar that goes right there and then there are three screws holding this wall to this wall so the electric panel has to come out so I can get to these screws here so since it looks to me like this whole thing is uh, built upon its each other for support when I take this out this whole member support here is going to be gone so in order to make it go all the way across, and another thing too is the height of this wall is two inches shorter than that wall, so I don't know that I can actually plug that in. I may have to chop that down to size to get it to go across here. Also, that bed is two inches wider than this section of bed. So it's gonna, it's gonna come out to about there, so I don't know find out when we get it when we get it apart but uh, wires are going through holes and stuff which means I'm gonna have to be real careful how I take this cabinet out because of the wires so this is part one of teardown uh, part two of teardown coming up thanks for watching